Well, uh, on the ICTA share event is a solution to to time management and event sharing. Well, this this mobile app development is going to help the association to to organize the event and the, ratify the event. This platform is very good for conveying information. From the time since then, as we all are aware, as ICT students, since then UNSA ICTA was registered in 2018 at UNSA. The association didn't have any platform, any professional platform, electronic event sharing platform. It didn't have. Well, if they used to convey the information or telling us this event we are going to be having is event through Vebo and the WhatsApp group. That's what the UNSA ICTA used to do. But, well, as ICT students, we decided to come up with a platform that will help on the ICT Association to organize, announce the event via event sharing platform as automated system through notification that will be integrated with the Google Calendar API. This platform is going to, to, to make the work easier because it is going to be implemented as event sharing mobile application. The main purpose of this project is to, to update the majority event coming up to the students of ICT students. The, the main, the, this platform will be, will be great importance to us ICT students because it's a needful information which will be provided auto, automatically through our mobile website. Whenever you and I, as ICT students, we, we access on the website, Facebook, it will be notifying us to update when the event will be and what is the topic of the event and the seminar of the, of the conference. My colleague will take it up from here. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, <coughs> so this project is a mask of for the events that UNSAICTA organizes using a mobile app. Uh, this uh, mobile app verifies paper-based announcements, as we usually see uh, within school, uh, on notice boards, um, as it is difficult and cumbersome. You need to move from one place to another to, to, to see the events. Uh, but this project uh, alleviates the stress um, of moving from one place to another as students have a lot of uh, programs to attend to. Now, this, 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 uh, this event sharing, when, you, when we took uh, a survey, a research, you find that 70% of ICT students uh, want to use the same event sharing. Uh, furthermore, the UNGA ICTA executive has the responsibility to bring ICT students together and incorporate them in event sharing. Yeah. Um, they use cases, user stories, notes to set up the prototype, such as uh, as UNGA ICTA executive, they have the responsibility to restrict permission based on role uh, of the platform. So the UNGA ICTA executive will be responsible to restrict certain um, certain permissions. Uh, furthermore, and as well as the approval of comments which are appropriate. So UNSA ICTA will be responsible to check out comments that are appropriate for the app. Um, the executive indicates that being able to see a summary of each segment of data was their first priority. So their first priority is to see the summary of each segment of data. Lastly, um, uh, we decided to, um, uh, to to go for the secondary admin workflow. Uh, 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 we, we decided not to go for the secondary admin workflow um, simply because we wanted to go for the primary one. Um, in that, uh, we want to incorporate each and every person as an admin in case one is not available. Uh, from this juncture, my colleague will conclude and summarize our presentation. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Lewis. Um, our main goal for this mobile application, as my colleagues have said, um, our main purpose of this mobile application event is event sharing, where the current association 
sat down and thought of it that we should get rid of these paperwork based uh, event sharing and uh, notifying students because we are in a community of um, ICT students who are under the Library of Information Student Science. So we discuss with the association on how we can convey information in a technolog technological manner, a professional manner in which students will be able to manage their time efficiently and they will be able to be notified when the, the event will occur exactly and UNSA being a busy scheduled um, institution, students may tend to forget. So if they have such an application, they will be able to be reminded of because a student will be able to subscribe to an event that will be shared on the mobile application. If the student subscribes to the mobile application, um, the student will be notified and he or she will decide when she will want to be notified. Either in surgical manners, would say after 10 minutes before the events, or we would say a day before. And this will be able to be managed very well because students will manage their time efficiently because this app is a solution to a manage, management problems of time and event sharing. As it stands now, uh, the only students aggravated to this mobile app are the students who are under UNSA ICTA. Our future plan is that we will expand this mobile application and market it, market it at a wider base, which will be uh, School of Education and later on to the University of Zambia, the whole institution. And uh, it will tend to improve as we go ahead. It will turn into a mobile social network in which students will be able to socialize either academically or in any manner they feel like. But we need such a mobile app in our community, which is the University of Zambia. And after sitting down with my colleagues, we discussed on how we are going to come up with a mobile application, which will start with uh, Android version. Then later on, we'll go to an iOS. Being an, an inexperienced uh, mobile developer, we are just going to start with a mobile application, which is, uh, Android, then we we'll later on go to iOS. So we will build this app using XML, which we'll use it for our graphical user interface. Then we will use Java on our back end. And on our back end again, we'll use uh, Firebase for our authentication and uh, students who are unable to subscribe for this because they are unregistered. They need to be registered to this mobile app for them to subscribe, for them to see these events and subscribe and be notified when and where. And thirdly, we will integrate it with uh, mob, uh, the Google Calendar API, which students will be notified. So we will say this mobile application is a solution to our time management and event sharing because students will be able to manage their time efficiently. I would say thank you very much and have a good day.